All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're working on today is a quick video on how to make a stern drive holder. Um, there's tons of different ways um, <clears throat> that you can make these. This is just going to be one way that I could show you. And I'm actually going to use a little dolly here. Uh, this, I believe, is a 18 by 1 foot. Uh, you can get bigger ones. Uh, actually, uh, if you can, do get bigger ones. Uh, just because more of a base is better. But this is definitely going to work. This is just what I had laying around along with uh, the scrap pieces. And these are actually cut to 24 inches. All these because from uh, when we were using these as forms for doing our quick crete uh, sidewalk up there. Make sure to check that video out. <laughs> but what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut these four boards right here. Uh, we're going to cut them down to 17 inches and the reason we're doing 17 inches is because when you measure from the bottom here down oh, all the way down that'll give you enough room uh, that this can rest inside the form when it's all done and support this and then that way also you can take the top off here and the whole bottom the lower end will actually sit right in it and then you can work on it, do the impeller, do all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and cut these four boards right now to 17 inches and get rolling here. Okay, like I said, this is 18 inches um, by one foot, 12 inches. Uh, and you don't have to use, uh, these are two by sixes. Uh, you, you can use two by fours. You're just gonna have to change the measurements up. Uh, but like I said, this is just scrap wood I had laying around. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to good use. And you wanna make the center where it's gonna sit in here. You want at least five and a half inches. And the reason for that is if you look here on your stern drive and measure it, you're right about six inches. So you want roughly about a quarter inch or so uh, on each side because you got to be able to clear the bottom here as well, which, you know, is probably about five inches or so when it's, there we go, five inches or so uh, straight across. So we want to make sure that there's clearance on each side here and that the boards will still be able to come up here and hold this in and we'll put obviously we'll put braces in in the front uh one in the bottom one at the top uh to hold it all together so the bottom here kind of figuring these are a little bit wider here because they're two by sixes but we could almost line them up with these right here and like i said these are two feet 24 inches these boards so we want to do an overhang on each side of three inches so three inches on this side three inches on that side uh, just to get them uh, leveled up here and then we could actually run uh, some screws down all the way through here some two inch screws to hold this all together and also through here for a nice uh, you know a, a good base so let's go ahead and get these set and then we'll measure We'll measure our distance in here, and like I said, we want about five and a half inches, you know, both both here and here, and then we'll go ahead and drive them all down through there. So let's get this base done. Okay, I'm not going to put any more screws in because we want to go ahead and get this all together. Uh, once we get the boards all set up, then we'll go ahead and drive home the rest of them and really tighten the sucker up. But, there we go. Now our 17 inch boards, we want to go ahead. I'm 
I'm pretty much going to go half on this part here and then half on this part here. So about two and three quarters. And same thing over here. And that's just gonna run up here. Like I said, there's many different ways to do this. This is just how I'm doing it. Now we can line those up. And we'll go ahead and put a couple screws in each side and then we'll come up to the bottom and really secure it in. And we'll just do some pilot holes here. You don't want the wood splitting. Might need to use an extension to get that inside one. But there we go. All right, let's go ahead and do this side now. All right, so this is what it should be looking like at this point. And like I said, I haven't ran all the screws through. This is just to get it all put together and then we'll drive home screws to really tighten this whole sucker up. So now we'll go ahead and put our front bracket in and you could use either side, whichever side you wanna put the brace on. So let's go ahead and cut two eight and a half inch pieces. Okay, so we got our two pieces. We can go ahead and secure them in. And like I said, remember you wanna make sure you still have the five and a half inches in there.
All right, so we got our front bracing on now. Now we can go ahead and put our two top boards on. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go through and finish putting all the rest of the screws in, really tighten it down. All right, so we got our two more pieces, a 24 inch board. And we're gonna wanna line this up. And same thing, uh, we're gonna want three inches off the end here. I'll have to scoot this down a little bit. All right there. We'll go ahead and put a screw in there. All right, we'll drill the rest of our pilot holes here. All right, same thing on this side. Let's go ahead and get this side done. All right, so this thing is all together now, other than all the screws we still have to run to really give it support. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and make sure that either this stern drive, that stern drive, any stern drive fits in it and it'll hold it. So let's put one in here. All right, so that works out really good. And look at even enough room for the prop shaft to come out the bottom there. And this thing, plenty of clearance in the bottom here. And it's, now we can go ahead and take the top off. We could actually set this over here and take the top off. That'll hold the top and we could take the bottom with us. So now we got a nice uh, roller here for it. So let's go ahead and put the rest of the screws in here and tighten this sucker up and we should be all set. But there you go. And like I said, this is from scrap wood that I had laying around. So, I mean, you can make your adjustments however you want. Um, but yeah, this will work out pretty good. And yeah, you can use two by fours, you know, two by sixes, two by eights, whatever you have. Uh, so, I mean, this is just to give you a rough idea of, you know, what you can do to, to make your own. And you can put it on a roller one like this. Uh, you don't have to, you can have it stationary. Uh, this will just make it easier when we're moving it around and stuff, because eventually we will be cementing in here. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Easy enough and doesn't cost much either. Especially if you've got scrap wood, uh, you can pick up one of those roller carts at like Harbor Freight or something for like 10 bucks. Um, you can get the bigger ones, uh, give it more support for a wider base, but this is fine. This will work out, you know, this does what I need it to do. Um, but there you go. We're all set. Make sure to check out my other videos. 
Uh, I got some new ones coming out on repairing bell housings, uh, obviously uh, stern drives, water pumps, the impellers, uh, you know, a little, little bit of everything. And check out all my other videos on the boats. Got a lot of them. So, all right. Once again, we hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.